Hello everybody. The earthquake storm in Iceland on the Reykjanes Peninsula continues with over 5,800 earthquakes having been detected so far. Satellite images have arrived, showing us ground deformation over a 24-hour period. What does it reveal? Let's check out the details. The Earth continues to shake on the Reykjanes Peninsula, with familiar intensity to earthquake storms caused by previous intrusions. But, surprisingly, new satellite images show no signs of increased ground deformation. At least not over the 24-hour time span the measurements were conducted. So, this earthquake storm is just caused by the ongoing uplift on the Reykjanes Peninsula, which is centered north of Mount Fagradalsfjall. Right? Not necessarily. Despite the fact no ground deformation was detected with the satellite data, measurements from GPS stations located here on the peninsula do show changes in uplift and ground deformation. The most notable is a station called FEFC, which is located on the scenic mountain Festarfjall. There, an obvious spike in both uplift and ground deformation is visible. The red graph shows uplift, green shows motion to east and west, and blue shows motion to north and south. Totaling just a little over a centimeter in the last 32 hours, it could have been too insignificant for the satellites to detect. There are also two other stations which show the same signs, but to a lesser extent suggesting the intrusion is centered somewhere around Mount Festarfjall. Stations located in the area of the earthquake activity do not show any signs of ground deformation or increased uplift. So, we're still in a state of uncertainty, with one measurement showing no ground deformation while the other does. All in all, it's likely that an intrusion is actually ongoing, albeit smaller than we've experienced before and much farther south. So much so, in fact, that if an eruption would occur, it could end up being underwater. But with it seemingly being so small, it's unlikely it's going to end up producing an eruption. And as of the making of this video, earthquake activity is decreasing. Our experts could get more detailed satellite images if they look over a longer measurement window. But as the earthquake storm seems to be ending, it may not be needed. Until then, We'll just have to wait patiently and see what happens. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed, hope to see most of you in the next video, and thanks for watching.